I truly hope you're enjoying this video uh, during this speeded up version of uh, my sculpting. Uh, if you would like to uh, learn a little bit more about my instructional DVDs, uh, of which I've got uh, probably a good 50 years of experience packed into these DVDs, um, little tricks, little things you can do uh, in your sculpting, please check out uh, the link in the video description below this video. Also, if you enjoy this video or my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and then click on the uh, follow uh, button in the subscription. All right, back to the video. All right, what I did was I went uh, and took a break and went through all the pictures I've got of uh, from Todd and I turned them black and white because uh, color distracts, even small colors in the background. And then I lightened them up so much that I could actually see the uh, shape of the, the head of the uh, my friend. And uh, This is after he had an operation. Well, anyway, I'm going to get back to work. It shows me the texture of the fur, how it, how it uh, forms and all that stuff. And uh, so I'm going to go from that. Then I found this uh, great uh, uh, muscle drawing showing uh, the muscles as they are when a dog is sitting. And it's pretty close to what I'm doing right now with Sam. Um, not sure what kind of dog it is, but uh, it's close enough for me to see the uh, muscles. Not that the muscles really show that much underneath the fur, but you got to have the shape and the form under the fur before you can uh, make it look real. All right, we'll get back to work on Sam. My buddy.
that's going to do it for today. I'll pick this up next time.